So, where do you guys want to go dancing? We were hoping you'd know a place. Yes, perhaps somewhere packed tightly with young, beautiful bodies, sweating and writhing against each other in a glorious orgy of the flesh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that place. <laughs> what do you think? That should display enough of your bosom to attract a new mate or a hungry infant. <laughs> okay, let's go through this one more time. Just because Leonard has a new girlfriend does not mean I need to go out and hook up with some guy. But you could if you wanted to, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Pick out the hottest guy in the room, take him home, do unspeakable things to him, then kick him to the curb with a smile on his face and teeth marks on his hiney? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> What's that like? I don't know. It's fun while you're doing it, and then after, it's mostly embarrassment, self-loathing, and regret. I would take that deal all day long. <laughs> It's not gonna happen tonight. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm not in a relationship, and I'm totally okay with it. You know, if being on your own is new to you, I'd be happy to share some tension-relieving techniques for ladies I've perfected over the years. <laughs> for example, do you have an electric toothbrush? Uh, no. You should get one. <laughs> What's that? It appears to be something preserved between two pieces of acrylic. Oh, it's a snowflake from the North Pole. Leonard gave it to me last year. Oh, God, that is so romantic. Yeah, it was. Leonard's really one of a kind. Saying that while holding a snowflake's a little bit heavy-handed, don't you think? <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, screw it. I can deal with a little self-loathing. Let's go find me a hiney to bite. <laughs> Outstanding. And if we fail, we can always stop at CVS and pick you out a nice toothbrush. I call mine Gerard. That's kind of creepy.